Yeah. My name is Akashi and in this video, you know why you clicked. We got the next raid coming this Saturday, I believe. We've had everyone on a, a Saturday, so I'm just assuming it's going to be on a Saturday. We've got three more raids left, including this one. So we had the first two. The first one was against Half Corrupted Zamasu, the LF uh, alongside Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. The second one, we had LF Rose as the enemy. And on this one here, we're going to be having Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito. So Super Saiyan Blue Vegito has as the raid boss this time, which they're switching it up. So uh, the actual allies, uh, the heroes, the protagonists that uh, actually fight the enemies are going to be the enemies this time. So um, let's actually get into looking at the details of this raid. Uh, this is just a preview, but the raid actually starts from the 19th. So the day I'm recording this video is actually the 17th, which is a Thursday. Friday would be 18th and then 19th at 7 a.m. GMT plus one, which would be ST for me. You can convert that into whatever time zone you're in uh, is when the raid will start. And then it would actually end on the 22nd of, uh, of June. I was going to say May, but we're in June uh, at 7 a.m. But this is only assuming that we do not kill the raid boss completely. So surely you've actually experienced the past two raids now if you're participating in this third anniversary. But maybe you're new here. If you don't know, just for the people that don't know, uh, the raid boss is basically a global co-op event where we fight a raid boss. And every time you clear the raid boss, you actually decrease the raid boss's health in total. So if your battle, every time you do a battle, does like 30 million and the raid boss's health is like 300 billion. For every person that does co-op, it reduces the raid boss's health 30 million, 30 million, 30 million until we get down to zero. If we don't play a lot, then obviously we won't get it down to zero. And that's where this would kick in and the raid boss would literally just disappear on the 22nd of June. Um, in the raid, you actually get lots of drops. So there's going to be Hoi Poi coins that you can get, raid medals, and there's an exchange shop which you can exchange the raid medals for uh, beautiful items. There's always 1,000 Chrono Crystals. That's probably the main reason you click this video. Uh, 1,000 Chrono Crystals is a lot. And since there's going to be five raids, we've done two already. This is the third one. There's 3,000 Chrono Crystals still to be grabbed from the raids alone. So make sure to play. Try play early, but from the themes of it, in the top past two raids that we've got, you don't even need to play early, honestly, because uh, people are not grinding it out heavy. They were grinding out the first one. We actually killed the first one. I don't think we killed the second one, um, but that's simply because everybody wanted to get their Hoi Poi coins so they can get the uh, 600 Legend Limited Z power from the missions. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the missions actually had a, a mission where you can get 600 Legend Limited Multi Z power, which you can apply to your uh, Legend Limited characters that you already have and the objective was to get 1000 hoi poi coins but um yeah here are some of the battle drops so you can get obviously the the third anniversary uh extreme clash raid medals hoi poi coins sparking and extreme multi z powers eraser medals and this is only some of them like you can even get platinum coins so um yeah that's pretty useful how to play i already explained that it's pretty much just co-op um so i'm not going to go into that there's always missions uh you need to play at least 20 times to clear all the missions 20 co-op modes isn't difficult especially if you've got the boost units uh this one is against vegeta and vegeta is quite annoying to fight i'm not gonna lie but the boost units here the main two are actually the villains that we had so the bosses that we had for the previous two um raid bosses zamasu and rose but on top of that super saiyan 4 gogeta vegeta the the Shadow Dragons, Kefla, Vegeta, Kid Buu, oh some powerful opponents here, Broly, they're on the actual uh, pickup banner, the, the pickup banner that's bait right now, well unless you run powerful opponents then it's not bait I guess, and also Super Vegito which is interesting, so maybe Zenkai, I'm joking, but Vegeta's here as well, <laughs> but um, yeah, these, like it says at the bottom, these are only a portion of the battle characters, so they more time buffed by tag, but um, I feel like these two at the top, especially Rose and Zamasu, are going to be the main two useful ones. I've got Rose, so I should be good. Zamasu, I should have him as well. I have everyone here, actually. Subtle flex, subtle flex, subtle flex, subtle flex. So let me get back on track. Play 20 times for these missions. The missions are always the same. You get some tickets as well, which is pretty neat. Uh, here's where you can actually go to the exchange shop. So I touched on these medals over here. These medals are actually used in exchange for these items here so there's some beautiful stuff i mentioned the 1000 chrono crystals there's platinum coins i can actually bring up the um the exchange shop for you right now considering that i haven't bought out anything and it actually stays there so it should look like this anniversary raid exchange shop there'll be 1000 chrono crystals at the top platinum coins here sparking and uh extreme z power slot removers souls all the way like this and then some other stuff on the side here um 
pretty useful stuff the main thing you want to buy was the thousand chrono crystals though it's not on my screen right now because i've obviously already bought it out and then here's just elaborating on the hoi poi coins nothing more than that honestly uh one thing you just need to know is that for you guys that are just joining the game now and haven't actually played the game for long you do actually need to clear this part of the story to actually participate in co-op or the raid so make sure you play up the story to at least uh part two uh, this part here and then you should be good but beyond from that it's just down to you to actually grind out the raid consistently continuously play it so you can get your rewards um anything that you need honestly just bear in mind that vegeta is the boss and uh the boost unit so that you can actually clear it faster i'll be streaming the raid on saturday because i've already got my uh legend limited z power i'll actually play with some of you guys as long as like my hate fever is not wilding because right now you can hear my voice i sound fine right uh but um where are the missions the missions the hoi coin ones here because i'm basically almost done i'll actually do some raids with you guys i know for the previous two raids i was just literally playing by my uh, pl not by myself but i was playing with somebody set specific every single time and there's a lot of people that wanted to play with me so um yeah i'll run some games with you guys put my code in the stream uh join you guys' lobby and whatnot uh so we can get some runs in <laughs> help me help you help you help me it always goes both ways on this channel but yeah that's all i pretty much got to say for this video um i'll post a video every time a new raid comes uh always some good information and to know that you can get easy a thousand chrono crystals press that subscribe button if you haven't already do me that favor we're on this grind to 20k we're very close to 20k so i'd appreciate it if you haven't subscribed if you would subscribe but yeah i'm gonna leave it like that my name is akashi guys and i will see you guys in the next one